Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have a special guest here again. We have our roving reporter, Joey Jones. And Joey. Powered by Sun, powered by Sunpath, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Good evening, I have to say, even though it's afternoon here, because you are somewhere else. I am at the so World Indoor uh, Tunnel Flying Championships in uh, Warsaw, Poland. Yeah, and it's evening there, and um, you uh, have a very busy agenda there again, and it's an exciting event at the same time. You, I, 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 without uh, even your own flying. Uh, yeah, my, my team is not Hila, uh, because two of the people are on the indoor female team, but yeah, I have five teams at this competition. I actually had six, but one of them dropped out at the last minute, and uh, I wasn't complaining. I've got UK female and Polish female. Um, they're in second and fourth place right now with one round to go, doing really great. Slovenian national team Sky Dragons is having a great meet, looking to break 22 average, which is a, a two-point increase over last year's World Cup in, uh, in Prague. Um, the Italy team Energy is here. They're doing all right. We, uh, we haven't been in a wind tunnel since May because obviously this is the indoor, the end of the outdoor season, which is something we should talk about. It's a, I think it's a crazy time to have this meet, but we can bring up the, the timing of the meet. And I've also got a, the Team Phoenix, um, which is a collaboration of um, Team Eros and Team Phoenix, a pickup team kind of from England here to just get, gain some experience. But it's, it's been a great meet so far. Yeah, and uh, it's exciting also, you know, not only with your teams, uh, which is, of course, you know, very exciting for you, but if we're looking at the other leaderboards, um, I was just uh, putting, I'm looking at the combined leaderboard a little bit earlier, and there are some, uh, a lot of French teams. Well, in the top four, there are three French teams. Uh, pretty interesting. And you have some, some French uh, visitors there, too, in the lobby. Well, you're at the hotel right now, right? I am at the hotel. Well, when we talk about the leaderboard, there is, there's, um, well, I mean, I guess Roy's French now. It's just, it, it yeah, seems, exactly. I didn't know how he you became French. How did you become French? I'm not for sure. What did you do? Did you drink the Kool-Aid or something? <laughs> good question. But, uh, it is a good question. But anyway, so Roy is French now. And uh, that team from Wemby, which uh, obviously is the new wind tunnel in France, which is a, obviously a great place. I haven't been there yet, but I've heard great things about it. But yeah, they, they are coming here and, and um, really throwing down some, throwing down some lead. Um, it, uh, it's been great to see. I mean, Hayabusa just came off a of world meet. I mean, the, you know, you build up and build up and build up for two years. When that world meet ends, the wave crashes, and it takes time to rebuild your to rebuild your energy. You know, the water's got to recede, the wave's got to build up again. So, I know from personal experience, having won a World Cup in '98, I went back and lost the nationals a week later. Um, I know that the Golden Knights and Airspeed have both skipped World Cups because they wanted to perform at the nationals. So, I know it's difficult to come back and fire after after being gone. But either way, the the point average shows that uh, that it's, they're not that far off, and uh, Wemby's really killing it. And if they if they stay together and uh, Roy stays French, um, it's going to be amazing. Now, the funny part was Roy, he's never competed for his actual home country. He's actually Dutch, right? I don't oh, know if, I didn't know this. if anybody Dutch. knows that, but, but Roy, Roy's Dutch. He's never made a skydive in Holland, and he's never competed for Holland. He's, uh, so he's huh. got a pretty interesting history. Yeah. Well, um, despite, you know, the difficulties that uh, Hayabusa is coming from after the World Meet and all that stuff as of energy motivation, I just watched uh, round nine and uh, that was one of the most outstanding rounds I have probably ever seen. So they, they had, I don't know if you know the scores, but... I do know the scores. Well, you know, when you get put under pressure, you, you know, I mean, I, it, uh, I didn't think that Wemby could keep it together for 10 rounds. You know, that was what I told everybody. I'm like, look, they're, they're, they are all super duper world champions. Three of those have how many skydives together? Guillaume, Mathieu, and uh, Julien. They probably have thousands of jumps together. Yeah. Right? So they're, they're not, it's not like it's a pickup team, like people say. But uh, I didn't think they would be able to keep it together with such little training. And they made it eight, we did eight really good rounds. Right. And, uh, and uh, Hayabusa stepped it up. And they, they slipped a little bit. And so, I mean, the, the difference is there. But to, to, uh, for me, to keep it together for eight rounds against Hayabusa, it doesn't matter coming off a world meet. is really impressive. And if they can do 20, 30 hours next year, wow, you know, watch out. Watch out. Do you really think that the French Federation will consider to, to bring this forward team possibly back as a national team? 
You have uh, visit us in the lobby and introduce him quickly to us, Joey. Oh, we, we, we do have we do have guests <laughs> over here in the background. <laughs> Go ahead and say hello, Kurt. <laughs> Bonjour, Monsieur. This is the the actual French national team uh, who competed at the Mondial. Two of two members at least. You know, we have uh, Charles Rommel is there, and uh, is it Damian or or, or Kevin? No, it's yeah, it's Damian. Damian is here. Yes. Yeah. Well. So um, they're, they're, they're done with a day and hanging out in the lobby there at the hotel. Yes, they're, they're playing some games and relaxing, getting ready to, uh, to finish off strong tomorrow. Yeah, is that a bottle of wine, though, that I see there on the table, or is it water? They have a bottle of, they have a bottle of water. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I haven't taken care of the wine. They have water. <laughs> okay. tomorrow, tomorrow, maybe they have a glass of wine. Well, wine maybe. Um, tomorrow, great maybe, performance, yes. uh, Charles and Damiang. So good luck for the rest, uh, for the remaining. Nice job, guys. Uh, nice job at the World Meet, first of all. A great to come back, take the bronze, and obviously here as well. You were a little bit behind, but you've uh, done the same there, and you're back in third place. So that's uh, two more uh, weeks, uh, two more years of work. Two more years of work. I was, well after the the um, I mean the improvement has been very noticed, and especially the the competitive um, the competitive growth maturity of the team this last season coming from behind and and finding out has been uh, has been impressive for me to watch. So congratulations for that. And uh, I think with two more years, we can uh, pay attention. Huh? You know? so and round 10, round 10 is a tiebreaker with the girls again, right? They're tied now at this point. Are you tied with the girls again? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Exciting. Good. Well, we will, we will see how it goes tomorrow. Good luck. Let you guys get back to your game. Thanks Merci for talking to us. Bon, bonsoir, monsieur. Bonsoir. <laughs> so... It, um, so these guys, yeah, they, they, the, what I was saying there, the maturity of the team coming back from behind and climbing their way back into the bronze medal spot. To, and they've got two more years of work, so it'll be interesting to see how they do. Um, but the biggest thing, is, like we were talking about Roy, Roy and, the, and the French trench team. I mean, if they can put uh, – they were told me that the French Nationals is this season, and, um, and they, whoever wins that competition will represent – um, France at the next World Championships, and that's in in. Uh, excuse me, I might. Do you guys know when the French Indoor Championships is? So that's the at the end of March. Okay, in Paris. Oh, that or, that is for the Indoor. Okay, so in the end of March, the Paris Indoor. I mean, the French Indoor Championships will be in Wembley. And, oh, um, so this is about the Indoor Championship, but for the. Uh, next world meet in 2018 they have already assigned this uh, team yeah no, this is the outdoor team those guys aren't even i don't even think they have interest in being an outdoor team right. i think i think they're the classic retired competitor who <laughs> the, the wind tunnels uh, it's a, like a lazy man's it's a lazy man's world championships in my yeah. opinion. <laughs> i mean i'm all about it <laughs> yeah but i think the way to you know 20 hours of wind tunnel doesn't take a lot of time and energy and effort and expense and cost, whereas to try to make power 500, 600 jumps oh, is a really big ask. Hi, Andy, Dennis, there they are. Hey, guys, <laughs> fantastic <laughs> round. Yes, we can definitely sit down and chit chat. We're actually on our way to the room, so. <laughs> so, hey, I mean, just, just hey, Kurt Gable just mentioned how nice that like, I, like I just putting some. I just watched your round nine, and I just watched your round nine. Uh, incredible. One of the best rounds in four way I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. <laughs> where was what's needed? Where were the first eight? <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> hey, <you're so> <laughs> Thanks for good luck tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, Kurt. <laughs> you're gonna sleep better tonight yeah. after round. Yeah, 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 right. Definitely. No, no, no. <laughs> Until we see you guys finish tomorrow, huh? Thank, Thank you, you guys. Good job. Bye. Oh, we have some some prominent visitors there, Joey. Yeah, we have got a few people passing by. I'll, I can, uh, I can try to. I'm gonna move a little bit this way so I can see who comes in, and uh, and we can try. To, and I can see if we can get some more people come. But I, what I, what, what I'd like to see is the event move to the end of the indoor season. You know, it's just, it's really tough. A lot of teams haven't been in a wind tunnel in six months. Um, they all just flew back from America, and. Um, I think if we can get this event moved to maybe February to April, sometime in there, because people come home, we need an off season, which would be like November would be our off season. December, we start training January, February, March, April, sometime we have the indoor championship. So, and a lot of teams are, are, are on board with that. So 
Mm-hmm. That's the only thing that I think right now because some teams are like, man, I just got back. <laughs> I haven't been in a wind tunnel. I'm trying to, you know, so anyway. And other sports are doing But it's, uh, now They give them, uh, their athletes a rest uh, for some time. Yeah. And just nobody's prepared for it. I mean, well, the thing is, if it stays in this fashion, it really to concentrate on both events, indoor and outdoor. Because an indoor team will have a definite advantage showing up current in the wind tunnel doing an hour a week. Whereas a team that comes from the world championships, they haven't been in a wind tunnel in six months because they're, they're focusing on their outdoor career. And, and um, it, doesn't, it doesn't really make it fair. And I, what, what I think will happen is outdoor teams will stop coming because they don't want to get beat by indoor teams because just because they haven't had the opportunity to train both events. They don't want to. So I, I, I've talked to the director of the uh, wind tunnel committee, Mohammed Mohammed from uh, Qatar, and he's, uh, he's pretty interested in trying to move it as well. So I think it's going to happen. Be, which will be great for everybody. Okay, well, Joe, you must be tired too after you now a very long day like this. So we keep it uh, uh, like that, and maybe we can catch up tomorrow again after um, round 10 when it's all over. You know, it's uh, super yeah. exciting still. We get get and, to see uh, that, the, the competition between the French teams yep. and, uh, and see how that pans out. All right, Kurt, we'll have you have a good evening, and it's nice chatting with you, and I will, um, I'll catch you tomorrow. Yeah, thank you very much, Joey, for getting back to us here.